available. You will try to install and run Cassandra via Docker and this tutorial. So the prerequisite is you must be having uh, Docker on your system and post which we can start on this. So right now let me pull Cassandra from Docker Hub. This is the other thing that we need to do once we have the Docker with us. So I have the Docker image with me now and is the latest one. So now let's proceed. If I do Docker images, I can see this is the Docker image for the Cassandra I have now with me. Now let's go into this container and Docker Yeah, now this is running so what I will do now is I will open another tab in the terminal and will try to log into this so if I do docker ps this is the container that is running currently so what I will do is docker insert and IP and this container ID and bash so in the bash mode we will go into this container post which now I have to connect to Cassandra CLI for which I will do this opt slash Cassandra then CQLSH this is the shell login for Cassandra this is the default username and password and now we are connected to the Cassandra see this now we are on 6.0.0 Cassandra is 5.0.4 and we are connected to our best cluster and this IP address which is available at port 9042 now we need to uh, let's say if I do this try tables this is the default output of uh, default uh, describe tables command when we run over here yeah. so that's how we use cassandra over here and i can show you by creating one key space over here let's see if we are able to do that employees is the name Yeah, now this is created so let's use this now so use employees yeah we are able to use this and now in this key space we can create tables if we want um, those are like a simple command from that create table let's say i call it employees dot Employee. Now I'm not paying attention to the naming convention over here right now. Let's see employee name.
let's say this is the big on details that we are going to store now so yeah this has been created so this is how you create and then you can go ahead with inserting data into this but let's see if i do now um, let's try tables so yeah your employee name has been created and if i do workshop from employee chat employee name you won't see anything but the table has been created that's what i wanted to demonstrate so yeah that's all in this tutorial thank you for watching bye bye